33 this week marks Black Maternal Health Week. It recognizes the struggles black women face during pregnancy and childbirth. As we've reported, a black infant mortality rates grew in Indiana in 2020. News 8's Amisha Ramsey spoke with advocates on a mission to spread awareness and to improve maternal health and equity. Amisha, good morning. Good morning. There are a number of reasons why pregnancy can be rough on black women, regardless of their income or their education level. Now, I did speak with advocates here for maternal health who say that they are using their voice to spread awareness and hopefully provide safer pregnancies and postpartum services here locally. Now, according to the CDC, about 700 people die during pregnancy or in the year after. And black women die at a rate three times higher in comparison to white mothers. The CDC says some contributing factors include quality in health care, underlying chronic conditions like preeclampsia and structural racism and inflicted bias. Last year, the president issued the first ever presidential proclamation marking Black Maternal Health Week, coupled with plans to invest $200 million to address maternal uh, health crisis in the black community. I spoke with Tyree Reed, who is using her voice as Mrs. Central Indiana to tackling black maternal mortality locally. As the founder of Shades of Becoming a Mom, a nonprofit organization that provides resources, guidance and support primarily to black women grieving the loss of a baby in pregnancy or infancy. Now, throughout the week, SBM is hosting a free online race equity maternal health conference. What I kept finding out was that organizations was having a very difficult time getting African-American women in to serve them um, as it related to infant loss and then a, a couple of other areas in Black maternal health. And so in talking to them, it it pushed me along the space of wanting to do something more formally. Now, today, you can sit on a pre-recorded roundtable discussion about the role of doulas, which is a person who provides emotional and physical support during pregnancy and childbirth with a Q&A that will be live. Now, that starts at 12 p.m. We are, excuse me, 12 noon today. We will provide a link on our website at wishtv.com so you can join the discussion and enroll. Reporting live in downtown Indianapolis, I'm Amisha Ramsey, wishtv, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.